Hi everyone. For this video, I'll be showing you how to onboard a Microsoft Azure account into Orca. To start, you'll need to log in at app.orcasecurity.io. If your account is new and empty like mine is here, it will immediately bring you into the Connect Account section. If you have other things already in your account, to get to this page, click the gear icon in the bottom left corner. That brings you to the Settings section, and this Connect Account tab is the default page. Since we're doing an Azure account for this demo, you want to click the Microsoft Azure tab in the middle, and that's going to give you our three-step onboarding process. First off, we're going to open the Azure account itself in another tab. Just move that over here. And then within that Azure account, we're going to open the PowerShell terminal. By clicking here, I'll drag that up while it boots. All right, first thing, we're going to get the tenant ID by copying this command, pasting it over here, and hitting Enter. Then copy that value, and paste it back over here in the tenant ID field. Next, we're going to get the subscription ID by copying the second command, paste, and Enter again, and copy that value over here into the subscription ID field. Make sure you hit enter so we can auto-populate the command that comes later. Okay, that's step one complete. Step two is we need to approve the Orca Security Enterprise application to have access to the Azure account. That can be done by simply clicking here. And then when presented with the modal, click the consent box and the accept button. If that works, it'll bring this extra tab back to the Orca dashboard so we can just close it. Okay, step two complete. On to step three. First, we'll download the Orca onboarding PowerShell script by clicking here, and then you can simply drag and drop that over into PowerShell. Next, we'll copy the command that we've auto-populated with your subscription ID, paste and enter again to run it. That'll take a few seconds to create the role definition, assign it to the enterprise application, create a resource group, and grant permissions for it. Okay, once that's complete, we do the last and final step here, which is to simply click on the Connect Account button. And here you can see the scanning process has begun.